It is a place of expression, a space to share your truth. It is a place free of judgment, no boundaries, no mold to fit. You'll feel your walls come crumbling down around you until the deepest corners of your mind are exposed. And in your rawness, you begin to emerge from the rubble. You begin to peel back the layers you hide behind. You let them fall away. And there you are, so beautifully you, in all of your faults, in all of your darkness. And through your cracks, your light shines, not broken, but beautifully built, not damaged, but forever unfolding. In this space, we face our deepest fears, yet they present themselves with such grace. We dance with them until they dissolve. A circle of acceptance, a circle of support, Hand in hand, we will rise. We are the ones who will change the world. The out of this is magic. Magic in the now moment. And leaving it up to chance and uh, our, our own stories. So if you ever want to enter the circle at any time, or just walk and have a geese, like, far out, like, you know? <laughs> this is, you're an audience member, this is your world. So I have created a space for me personally to be able to like observe and be wherever I wish as a, as a performer, as, a, as an audience member. So I can see this in stadiums, I can see this in small intimate workshops in high schools and uh, primary schools and, and uh, rural communities and all, uh, being able to bring all sorts of people together. Since creating this circle it's really taught me a lot about um, completely letting go of the past, letting go of the future and like completely restarting my brain because I'm constantly dealing with people from such um, such backgrounds of stories and we all come here with our story and our story is so deep and personal but in this moment it's like uh, it's a lot about for me completely stripping that story and starting again for each of us in this moment as just a practice as just a practice just maybe see what happens out there See what it does to my life. Step into a space with people I didn't know and then feel so accepted. Um, just, yeah, I don't even have words to describe that feeling and it just makes me want to bring all my friends and have everyone experience that for themselves and to be able to explore all of their emotions and their pains and in the present moment on kind of like canvas with people who just accept it. Last two weeks we've just I've just like kind of opened the space for any creative artists that or just people, just people in general that just wanted to come and just see what it was about. I didn't know how to describe it, I didn't want to describe it. I was just like, those that know me just maybe just start piling and they can tell their friends and it will just organically grow in the way it's meant to. And it has, and it's been an incredible two weeks and, and some of the stuff that we've shared in here has been really, really personal and but then on that has created a really close community immediately. I mean it's kind of um, typical like, you know, you're interviewing someone who's just seen something but at the same time it's not like They've just seen a show. They've been a part of something, and I feel yeah. like that, yeah, that experience will be portrayed. Each participant's freedom of expression naturally offered cultural elements. Each story of movement eventuated into a shared story of multicultural riches. So it was like a collaboration. So everyone brings yeah. um, their own culture, values, and morals without even realizing it. Yeah. You know, it's just their structure. It's their makeup. They are. Yeah. What you were doing it was becoming a collaboration of multicultural riches. Well, that's what I see. Yeah. So I did. That's what I got. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. So.